Hello, everyone. This is Carol. In a previous video, we have already explained the role of color correction in frame design and in cinematic video creation, and we have also made a series of tutorials about color correction. So, if you haven't watched them yet, go check out the link in the upper right to check them out. Color correction is what we often talked about: the primary color adjustment. Which is intended to give the image such a color rendering effect that human eyes can see. And usually, after we do the color correction, we can add some customized and stylized effect to the video. But know that whenever you are going to correct a color in a video, you must do it first and don't add lots or do color grading to the material without correcting the color yet. Otherwise, the color would be rendered inaccurately. And then it will be very troublesome to make adjustment later. After finishing the primary color correction, we can move into the next phase of color adjustment. When producing a movie, the actor would do a lot of work on the color to highlight a thing, which is what we describe the tone of film. In the previous video of color mixing. We have shown you how to adjust the tone of the film by working on HSL. To do color grading directly through parameters requires some basic knowledge of color. For instance, the common tones, the different feeling that different color can give in a video. But does that mean a person who knows nothing about color editing cannot do color grading? Well, the answer is no, obviously, since there is a much easier way. The LUTs. LUTs can be divided into many categories, such as noise filters, blur filters, stylized filters, and more. And what we usually use is the stylized filters. As the name suggests, stylized filter is a filter that you can apply directly when you don't know what to do with the color and bring the result you want. For example, open video vlogger and create a new project. After loading a clip, click here to enter the color editor interface. On the left side, there are a bunch of filters available in the software. Here are the filters that you can use for travel videos, and these are filters for food. This can help give a video a cinematic look. Click on it. And you can see the change in the scene immediately. If you find the effect too strong, you can adjust the intensity of the filter here. You can also click here to compare the effect with the raw film, or clear all the effects. In addition to those provided in the software. Video Vlogger also supports all LUTs in 3D L and Cube formats. You can purchase them all online and use them in Video Vlogger. Click here to import all the filters. Again, you only need to click it to use. If you don't know where to get the third-party filters, you can follow the channel as well as join the channel community. In which we will give away some materials to the viewers regularly, and for more specific info, you can check the channel profile. Well, this is all for today's video. And if you want to learn more about other end tricks or what has been going on with Vinny Pop Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.